whitecataractcoach.com, a resident white cataract case. Good job, even with the small capsule Rexus. Now, we have anonymous resident operating this case. We're going to speed the video up nice and fast so we can get through the whole thing. This is going to be shown at 4x normal speed. Now, the first thing I notice is, golly, what's up with that draping? Why are there eyelashes on the surgical field? I won't belabor the point, but you understand what I'm saying. Now, here's the main incision. You've got a pretty white cataract there. That looks pretty good. Certainly looks like sitting superiorly. And here comes Tripan Blue Dye with a little bit of an air bubble. Get that capsule stained. We'll fast forward this a little bit here. And now, once it's stained, get a nice good capsule rexus. Now, we know for a white cataract, especially one that has some good nuclear density, you don't want a baby rexus. You want a good size rexus. Now, if you're doing a double rexus technique, sure, make the baby rexus, decompress the capsular bag, and then you can enlarge it. But you don't want to end up with a baby rexus. And you saw from the title slide, you already know we're going to end up with a bit of a baby rexus. Now, look at the forceps. Our surgeon is using some very nice forceps which are marked off so you can tell the size of the rexus as you tear it. And unfortunately, this is looking like a little bit on the small side. It's still okay. You can still do a great job. Even if you have a four or four and a half millimeter rexus, you can do a beautiful job. It's just going to be a little more effort. Here comes some viscoelastic going inside the eye. I wouldn't inject it underneath the capsule. I'd put it on top of the capsule. Again, let's get that video centered up. You can tell it's a resident because we can't have the video centered up, right? So... <laughs> Here you go, grabbing that capsule, get that rexus done, looking pretty good. Let's now give you points for having a continuous curvilinear round rexus. It looks pretty good. I just think you'd have an easier time if it was a little bit bigger rexus, but this is still fine. So there we go, rexus done. And now time for nucleus removal. Let's see the technique here. And let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. So much great material. If you're a young resident learning FACO, hello, check out the curriculum series, download the free PDF book. It's all for you. I promise I do it just for you. Now, let's see what we got going in here. Okay, rotating. You know, for a resident, that was a really nice rotation. That was really quite nice. And now, let's see with the phaco probe going inside. See a little bit of brownness to it, that little color? This is not a real soft lens. It's not butter. There's density. That brownness tells me density. So here's a groove down the middle. Yeah, look at that density. Now you can tell for sure. So this is a relatively dense nucleus. Groove, groove, groove. And let's see, maybe splitting it here. Oh, I like your attending helping out with a squirt bottle. And now, okay, I'll get a little bit of a mini trench and then chop, vertical chop. Pretty good, actually. You have very good hands. And then chop again. Very nicely done. If only you did better draping. I'll give your draping a low grade, sorry. I give your incision a reasonable grade. And I give your rexus, it's also reasonable, just a little bit small. I wish it was a little bit bigger here on the left side of your screen, right where that pairs and pieces is. It should be a little bit larger that way, but listen, that's maybe nitpicking. The chopping technique is great, beautifully done, bringing that piece up. Look at that sub-chop again. I give it to you. You got good hands for sure. So keep up the strong work. But remember, part of being a great resident is you need to be your own toughest critic. Don't make me criticize your case. You should criticize your own case. You be your own toughest critic. And you tell yourself, hey, let me be a better surgeon. Let me be tough on myself. Okay. Recoding the endothelium with viscoelastic, smart move. Now, if I was just going to guess, the lashes make me think you've done less than 50 cases. The incision, you've done a couple hundred cases. The rexus, you've done about 100 cases. The phaco chop technique, you've done 500 cases. So you certainly got good hands, good experience. Not sure where you are on the learning curve. But this is really quite nice. Look at that efficient removal. Again, we do have the video sped up to 4x normal speed. This video is about six and a half minutes. This surgery was about, you know, 25, 30 minutes. It's a long video. But this, again, the technique is great. Hands are good. So beautifully done here. Nuke is all cleaned up. And now time for cortex removal. We'll finish up the case here. So I certainly think you should learn how to do a white cataract in your residency training program. That, I think, is important. You know, oh, by manual approach for the cortex removal, that's always good. By manual approach gives you fine access. There is technically another incision, but it's a small, just a little pairs and pieces. Should have really no consequential effects. And now you can switch hands and clean up the other way. But you see what I mean about the draping, right? You could put some 
plastic drape there and only get the lashes out of the way. And I know everyone's not perfect and sometimes the, the lashes get in the way and the patient wasn't super cooperative in the draping. But, I mean, you get my point. If we're doing your fake or more important, if we're doing fake on my eyes, please just do the proper draping. Now, let's see what we got for a lens here. Okay, I like a young resident loading up your own lens. Fantastic. Here looks like a single piece of acrylic lens. Hydrophobic. Put that in the injector. Here we go. Close that injector up. Viscoelastic there. And let's see it being delivered. So definitely, if you're a resident, definitely learn how to do a white cataract in your training program. It's an important skill to have. And as you know, the big challenge in a white cataract usually is that capsular rexus. Now, ooh, the arm of that lens is not the right direction. There we go. Get that in the right direction. Let me make sure. 7L, yes. Anti-S, yes. Okay, it's good. But you be careful getting that lens in the bag. Be gentle. You don't want to have too much manipulation here. And there we go. Now you can see the Rex's size. So it's not actually too bad. It's just that side that's on the left part of your screen where the, the left pair of nieces is could be a little bit larger. But really pretty good overall case. I like it. Listen, you fix that draping and make the Rex's a little bit nicer, I give you a solid A then. But beautifully done. Keep up the good work. And remember, if you're a young resident, or a young doctor learning surgery, cataractcoach.com. you got to leave YouTube for a second. Go to cataractcoach.com, the actual website. Please download the free PDF book. Check out the curriculum series. I do all this just to make you a better surgeon. And the best part is, all these resources are totally free. Check it out.